How's it going everybody? I am back in Fallout 4. This time I'm going to be building the first floor to the actual house at Coastal Cottage. So this is going to be just this like right section of the house. So I'm going to be filling in the floor and then also building like a sort of similar build to on the interior, sort of similar to the uh, house over the uh, the survival garage is what it, uh, what I called the video. So pretty much what I'm doing is I'm building the floor. I'm just going to go ahead and like clean that up because it has a bunch of holes and stuff in it. And so I'm just trying to make it look like they've kind of just patched it up. And I'm going to try to make it somewhat of a like square house. It's not going to be like exactly a square because it's kind of hard to do with these and also all of the scrap in the area so like I said I use a lot of the plywood pieces to fill in the floor in this area and I wish that I had more colored pieces that were bigger than or were as big as these um, messing around earlier I actually found this is after this build so uh, it's way too late, but I found out that in the actual shipping container section, so if you have USO, you go into USO, you go into the section that says um, capsules, and then it says includes modular capsules, I think it says, something like that, or includes shipping containers, I don't remember exactly, but in that section, there is a section that says shipping containers you'll click on that there are closed shipping containers there are open ones and then there are modular so in the modular section you actually have the ability to like create your own structures out of the shipping containers which is I mean all right it's kind of hard to do considering it's just shipping container pieces it doesn't work it doesn't snap it works but it doesn't snap the way that a regular wall would so they are kind of hard to build with but that's all right and right here I'm trying to get these um, tall junk walls into this area and so as you can see like I'm trying to get this to snap in or well not snap in but let me clip using this uh, supports but it really wasn't working the way that I wanted, so I thought maybe uh, the I thought maybe that the like actual pillar glitch um, piece would work, and still that area is kind of touchy. So I had to actually use the place anywhere mod, and so. I just found the height that I needed it to be and you can see like right here this place anywhere mod using plywood pieces is a pain in the butt because if you use the place anywhere mod after you place the plywood pieces down all it wants to do is pick up those plywood pieces and so all I all I do pretty much to try to fix that is move it out of the way and it lets me pick it right up and so Right here, you can see, I'm just trying to line this up with the pieces of the house. And so, again, it is picking up more plywood pieces. So, I just move it off behind it. And place it even, like, flush with the side of this house. And then I go ahead and put that back where it was and then I'll be using another junk wall on the other side on the opposite side of that one to fill in that other gap and so this uh, first floor is just gonna be on this side because I have a, a different idea for the other side it's gonna be my way to get up to the second floor um, I don't know why I expected that to work like how I just put it down but yeah I just use the place anywhere tool 
Uh, this is something I've done quite a bit before, is pick up the Place Anywhere tool so that it isn't glitched into the ground with these junk walls. And so right here, I'm just trying to make it even with the floor down there. Uh, it's okay if it's a little bit off. But, um, because I like how the pieces of wood kind of look like they are, like, nailed into the side of the plywood junk fence. And then, I just use a couple of more plywood pieces to fill in the gap between the floor and the junk walls after I finish placing the junk walls in. And try to get it as close as I can without it like glitching through and then one more right there and I guess I decided to use a different one yeah I wanted one that would clip down so yeah right there I ended up getting, going in perfectly fine and I wanted to make this line up with that corner so that when I put walls down I can make them kind of blend in uh, a little bit better. So I'm actually recording this th today, uh, the day that it's supposed to come out, uh, Monday. So it's like the first time in a while that a video has actually been recorded on the day that it's supposed to come out, uh, but I had to work the weekend, so I had to use today. Uh, is my day off I had to use today to record my video but not very often do I have a video come out on the day of uh, me recording it and as of right now I'm at 513 subs which is crazy the amount of people that have been watching my videos has been awesome uh, and it's not even like I have a bunch of like people that are subbed to my channel that don't watch my videos a lot of you guys are active and it's really nice especially uh, the amount of comments that you guys leave uh, being able to like have conversations with you guys in the comments is pretty cool talk about my builds and then hear what you guys think about my builds is really cool um, and I like to reply back to you guys uh, I know that a lot of youtubers uh, don't really actually communicate with their subs, but I try to comment back to everybody. Um, I like to converse with you guys. It's nice to have, you know, like an audience of people that uh, actually like communicate with me and can give me feedback on my bills and give me ideas. You guys have told me like which settlements you would like to me like to see me go to next, and yeah, I'm completely open to that because um, I know that some people want to see me go to Somerville. Some people want to see me go uh, to a couple other places. And I do plan on going through all of the settlements, uh, whether it be me revisiting settlements uh, like of builds that I did in the past that I want to redo or it is like a new build completely. I do plan on like returning to all of the settlements for my channel uh, so that you guys can see me build at all these places and see what I would do and like be able to hear feedback from you guys and know what you guys would do at these settlements and stuff too. I'd like to hear that. But uh, one of my favorite things to do in this game is rebuild like pre-war structures uh, into these kind of like ramshackled houses and stuff. This is one of my favorite things to do in Fallout. Just because I love that the, w the way these look. Like that survival garage I did, I boarded it all up and made it look like this survival shack. And I'm really pleased with that look that those buildings have. And uh, I really like it kind of just looking like this pre-war structure someone settled in and then reinforced it a lot and uh, made it look good. But right there, I, I was going to put that in, and then I decided to actually look make these look a little bit more boarded up rather than just having wooden beams in them. And so I used the Place Anywhere tool to kind of glitch these into the wall a little bit so you can't see the side post, 
and it looks like someone actually like hammered in boards to the window and I used the just piece of plywood over the bottom half and you can see that it actually does look pretty good I think and then on the other window I was going to do the same thing uh, but I ended up just using uh, just a couple of uh, these so I used this one and then I used I used it on the bottom so that uh, it wasn't like exactly the same as the one on the left and then I used this up on the top and this one's a little bit harder to use just because the beams kind of or the wooden boards kind of go on the inside so I went and looked at it from the inside and it's a little bit glitched through but I just left it because I thought that I would try to cover it up and so right here I'm just messing around with flags and I don't know why but this flag wouldn't let me uh, put it like in the middle because you can see that it kind of like glitches into the wall so I ended up just leaving it like that I think that that is better than it kind of glitching through but the next thing that I needed to kind of figure out is uh, well I needed to fill in this gap a little bit better and uh, I should have just used place anywhere to get this in uh, yeah I should have just done that from the beginning instead of sitting there trying to get it to go in on its own it wasn't working obviously so uh, and then here in a moment uh, Okay, so what I do right here is I actually am trying to fill in this gap on these half walls. And so I just used uh, these railings that were added in USO. These are awesome for like fillers on buildings and stuff like that. Just little square pieces. And uh, there's a lot of different textures that you can use. And uh, I just use a, like a corrugated steel one and then also a plywood one. And you can see they fit in perfect. And I really like the way that they looked right there. But, yeah, so now I'm just uh, going to actually go up on the roof. And I'm going to start filling in the roof. And I thought about actually using roof pieces at first. Honestly, thinking about it now, I probably should have. Just for the fact that... If you guys watched my Starlight Drive-In build, somebody pointed this out in the comments. I don't remember who it was, but the main reason I probably get so much lag is because of these plywood pieces. I lay them out everywhere uh, all the time when I really could have just used like a floor and then used place anywhere to drop it down a little bit. I just think that these look scrappier and more thrown together than just a floor or a roof and I think that these look better I mean they look scrappier at least and so right here I'm just trying to get a floor to line up with that beam but a lot of this is just fidgeting with these plywood pieces and like the reason why I wanted to use plywood pieces instead of like a a roof or something like that is because I do plan on having a second floor so I wanted to have this filled in anyway not just looking scrappy or well not scrappy but not just looking all broken down and like torn apart and stuff I didn't want to have huge holes in the roof or anything like that so I went with the plywood pieces And I just try to break up the textures. I mean, you guys have watched me do this like a thousand times. I feel like I could probably start leaving these bits out. It probably saved me a lot of time if I go, hey, and then I filled in this bit with a uh, some plywood or a piece of plywood or whatever, and I just left it out because I do this all the time. And you guys have seen it a million times, but I just leave them in because maybe someone hasn't seen some of those other videos that like I've built using plywood pieces or whatever like um, 
Taffington Boathouse. I fixed the roof on that house with the plywood pieces, and then I built a uh, like a little sniper's nest up there, sniper's perch or whatever. And uh, right here, I just used place anywhere to get that more in that corner, and then also a little closer to the ground, not quite just floating. Uh, place anywhere is awesome for plywood pieces. You just sit it on top of the plywood piece. Also, it kind of works like the rug glitch. So the plywood pieces, if you lay it down, you can pick up the bottom piece with place anywhere, and it'll actually work like the uh, just like the rug glitch, and you can use it to place pieces in places that you usually couldn't. So like right here, I picked this up and place it over on this side and you can pretty much make them flat like if you really wanted to you could put it like how I just did it's mostly glitched into that lower white one and so there's no issue with like it being all wonky and stuff and then like right here I glitched this in below I think the blue one and so right here I'm just trying to get it even and so or I glitched it above, I guess. I think I did that so I could break up the texture of the two blue ones on both sides. And then I continue with just these brown pieces on this gap over here. And so, like, that brown one is now sitting on top of the blue one on that right. And so if I picked up or moved that blue one now, it would also move these brown pieces. And then I just fill in the rest of these gaps. And I lower this because that one's a little higher than everything else. And you can see it's pretty much even with all those other pieces of plywood. So there's not really like a huge difference when you're walking over it. And so that's what I'm doing right there. Is I'm just testing to see if there's like a major difference in elevation between all these. Uh, when I walk over them like that. And so then on the inside... Uh, I wanted to fill in these gaps up here, but I think I just leave it actually. But I do fill in that gap using a wooden beam from USO. So you can find these planks in the unlock settlement objects mod, and you can see right there it's a little bit better filled in. Not so much of a gap. I probably could have done something like that across the top side of that uh, junk wall, but. It, it worked out, I think, how I had it. Uh, I lower it a little bit, I guess, with a Place Anywhere tool. I thought that I left it, but uh, I lowered a little, and you can see that it fills in the rest of that gap. And then pretty much right here is just me using that idea to kind of make this floor, or the floor above me, look a little bit sturdier. And so, uh, I just go ahead and I place this there to fill in that gap, uh, I think, because I know that there's a couple beams that I put across this floor, yeah, so there's the first one right there, and then I know that I place one in the middle of the floor, so right here is just me kind of looking to see how it is, uh, see if it'll kind of just clip, and so... My idea for this beam, I don't think that I did this. Okay, I did apparently. So my idea for those beams was to kind of make the floor look as supported as it was supposed to with the beams that are going that direction anyway. I probably should have done it for all three. It probably would have made a little bit more sense. But this beam right here was supposed to be like connecting all those floors uh, pieces with the one plank. And I do leave it. It's supposed to help make it sturdy in my mind. I don't know why. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be there. But um, I use Place Anywhere to get it right where I want it. So I wanted it to kind of uh, clip in a little bit, but then also you can see the whole board all the way across. No clipping or glitches. And here is the tour here in a second. And you're going to notice some like differences, definitely. There's a couple things that I didn't show in the build. So first thing, on the right here, there is a little overhang. And I deleted the railings on the front of the house. And then also on the interior, like I said, it's going to be 
like the interior of the survival shack, but I showed you guys that. And I kind of sectioned off the inside. So right here, obviously, the first thing like I said, there's a little overhang on the front. I thought that that would look a little bit cooler than just having the regular porch. Uh, it doesn't change too much, but uh, also, I could have done without those stairs being there. I should have deleted those. But it doesn't really matter. And I just left those there because I uh, had this plywood up here. Uh, you could see it from inside, but I guess I just I left them there, so I decided to use it for the tour. And uh, if we go on up on the porch, you can see I added like a little balcony area. Uh, doesn't really add or change too much, but I just thought it was a little bit more interesting. It like added on to the house that was already there, made it look a little scrappier. And on the inside, like I said, I sectioned off the back half as like a bedroom. And this area is like a living area, dining area, whatever. So you can see there's a table with some food, a little TV, even though there's not really TV to watch. And you can see it's all boarded up and everything. I think that this looks pretty cool. Um, really scrappy. But this is going to be like a really hardcore settlement. I feel like uh, they're going to be really defensive and stuff. And I've got a mod review that I'm going to do for this settlement. There's a mod that I'm going to download, and uh, hopefully you guys are interested in that kind of stuff. Uh, it does something with the bunker uh, area instead of having to build a bunker. Uh, there's two mods that do different things, and so, yeah, let me know if you guys are interested in that. And let me know what you guys think of this build, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.